Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can control any smart home accessory or IFTTT service with Siri without HomeKit. We will be using IFTTT webhooks and Apple shortcuts to set this up. This tutorial has a written version at smarterhome.tk, but without further ado, let's get started. First, go to ifttt.com slash create. By the way, all of the links used in this video will be available in the description. Now create your account or sign in using whatever service. Click on this and search for webhooks. Click on the webhook service. You may have to connect the service first. Next, click receive a web request, then name the event to whatever you'd like. Make sure you remember this event name. Then click create trigger. Click on that and search for whichever IFTTT service you would like, but I am going to use the Smart Life app to control my lights. Choose what you want, then click Create Action. Make sure you have the Smart Life app installed on your iPhone. Now you may notice that there is a switch to enable or disable notifications for this applet. This will only work if you have the IFTTT app on your phone, if you want to be alerted when this applet is triggered. I would not like to receive notifications, so I will disable this. Once you are all done, click Finish. Now we're going to find our webhooks key. First, go to ifttt.com slash maker underscore webhooks. Click on the documentation button at the top right. Copy your key and send it to your phone because you will need it for Apple shortcuts. And it is time to move to our iPhone. Before we continue, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe so that I can help more and more people. You know how the YouTube algorithm works, right? Thanks. Okay, once you have your iPhone with shortcuts installed, get the Smarter Siri shortcut template from the description of this video. Scroll to the bottom of the shortcut and click on Add Untrusted Shortcut. Next, delete the text and enter your webhook key from documentation that you copied to your phone and click continue. Now delete the text and enter your event name. For example, mine was bedlight underscore on and click done. Your shortcut has now been added and we are now going to edit the shortcut's name. Navigate to My Shortcuts and find your new shortcut. Click on the three dots on your shortcut and click on the other three dots next to the name. Edit the name to whatever you would like to tell Siri. For example, I'm putting Turn on the Bed Light. You can click on the light bulb icon to change the icon and color but I'll leave mine the same. Once you are done, click done and done again. Now we will test the shortcut. The first time you run the shortcut, it will require you to click OK, but it will not appear after. When it runs and works, you can use Siri to activate the shortcut just by saying the name of the shortcut. That's it. You did it. Hopefully, these steps worked for you, and if you had any problems, please leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.